Here's a second example involving the exponential distribution. Devise a random variate generation algorithm for the exponential distribution. Well, the way that is done is the cumulative distribution function for an exponential random variable x is capital F of x is 1 minus e to the minus lambda x for x greater than 0. We derived that earlier. Well, if you set that cumulative distribution function equal to u and you solve for x, you will get what is known as the inverse cumulative distribution function, which is f inverse of u is negative 1 over lambda times the natural log of 1 minus u for any u value between 0 and 1. Once you have that inverse cumulative distribution function in closed form, you can generate a random variate in one line by simply assigning x to the inverse cumulative distribution function where u is a random number which is the same as saying u is uniformly distributed between 0 and 1. The geometry associated with generating a uh, random variant is as follows. If you assume that lambda equals 3, that allows us to draw one specific cumulative distribution function. And of course, this is an exponential random variable with a rate of 3, which is the same as saying an exponential random variable with a mean of 1 -third and you generate a random number and let's say in this particular case the random number generate random number generator gives you 0.9279 the geometry is you take that 0.9279 come across to the cumulative distribution function and down and the random variate the exponential random variate that is generated is 0.87 Six, six. So again, you'll notice that as you get large values of the uniform 0, 1, you get large variates, and that is something known as a monotone random variate generator. And the other nice property here is every time you have a uniform 0, 1, that gives you a random variate, and that is a property of random variate generators known as a synchronized random variate generator. And those two are very positive properties of a random variate generator. Now, if you want to implement this in R, again with lambda equals 3, let's say we want to generate 10,000 random variates with lambda equals 3. Here is the inverse CDF formula from before. Negative 1 over lambda times the natural log of 1 minus u. And for u in this case, we put in 10,000 uniform 0, 1s, which means we'll get 10,000 random variates x here. If you check the mean of x, you will get about 1 third that is 1 over lambda as you expect and if you look at the variance it will hover around 1 ninth that is 1 over lambda squared which is the variance of the uh, exponential distribution now before doing all of this you may want to do with this with a specific value of the random number stream so you might call the set dot seed function with a particular seed value and I'll just pick an integer arbitrarily 9. Well one thing you can do is try that same experiment but instead of using our own formula here instead use the built-in exponential and so if you type in again set dot seed of 9 Again, choose 10,000 as the number of random variates to generate. Set lambda to 3, same as above. But instead of setting x in this fashion, we're going to set x by using the random exponential generator. And that will be generate 10,000 random exponentials. Use a lambda of 3 and calculate the mean of x and the variance of x. And even though the mean and variance will hover around 1 3rd and 1 9th, you'll be surprised to see that they don't give you exactly the same value. Well, what's done internally inside of R 
and inside of the rexp function here is they actually eliminate this one minus here. And the reason they can get away with that is that a one minus a uniform zero one is has the same distribution as a uniform zero one so they wind up saving a subtraction inside of rexp and they do that to hasten the execution speed.